Hoi hoi! <laughs> Afternoon everybody! It's us! Okay, you can tell it's warmer today. Oh, still in the mood for a bit of a bum warm though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no neck Monday is large and in charge, I think, today. Oh, Sophie. What do you think, Bird? How are you feeling about that bath? I'm slightly regretful, thank you for asking. So yeah, we're a little bit late today because the um, yeah, a bit like that. We're we're a bit we're a bit later today because we had to drop e super hot. Thank you. <laughs> um, I had to drop the cats at the vet for their um. Ah. Ah. Hey Frank. <laughs> so yeah, I had to drop the cats at the vet, but I can only do it two at a time. Because ah. I've only got a silly little plastic car. And I can only fit me and two cats in my car at any one time. So we had to do, had to drive across town with T and Neeps, wait a half hour while they do all the vaccinations, drive home. Oh, they're talking. Yeah, bizarrely, it's only Neeps that's um, not talking to us. And that's par for the course with Neeps. She, she takes it very personally. Oh, we only have four cats. We, you know, <laughs> we're not crazy. Anyway, um, what are we doing, bird? Neat does have opinions. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she's um <laughs> the vet. Find, the the vet did not find neat um teeth brain. Yeah, um, <laughs> um, I mean they charged us for looking, but they didn't find it. Uh, not really. No. Um, magpies are very intelligent birds, and if they see something they want, they are going to get it. If they see some of the catches they're right, they're like, yeah, I'm having that. But they, they're they not huge. Um, Cam's neat tea and Sylvie. So yeah, it was, it was, first thing was, was tea and neat. And, um, and then bring them home. And then it was Cam's and Sylvie. I remember. And the vet remarked on Cam's and Sylvie being uh, somewhat chunky. That's poop. Yep. Saw that coming a mile away. You telegraphed that one, bird. And you missed me completely. Yeah. Oh, good bird news. Lay it on us. We need good bird news. Come on. Oh. T and Sylvie are still going out, and it's adorable. They were, um, they were, they were... They were having a cuddle on our bed this morning. They're still... They're still very cute together. E Ace! We could get start getting business from a, from a birdhouse the next day. Have you tried haps.tv? I haven't tried haps. Mated pair. Ah, oh, bless. 
Um, I haven't tried Haps TV. No, it rings a bell vaguely. Um, the reason why we went with Periscope and we'll probably continue to go with Twitter, Twitter Live is that um, you don't, you guys don't need to do anything else to join these these videos you don't have to sign up for any services it's not not like you need a twitch account or a youtube account and like that if you've got a twitter account you've got a periscope account oh and the wrens are back hey nice pair of <laughs> birds <laughs> where'd you go bird in a minute <laughs> We've got a couple of um, we've got a couple of uh, birdhouses on like this this fence. Uh, it's really weird pointing at something that isn't there. Like this fence here continues all the way along, and there are um, there's a couple of birdhouses there, but I haven't seen anybody in them yet. Will Twitter Live be available for others? Oh yeah, Twitter Live. <laughs> This just in, Twitter Live is Periscope, just with the name changed. Um, um, the, the, from my point of view, the UI is identical. Um, it's, it's, you, um, you can take the hex string off the end of a Periscope URL, attach it to a Twitter Live URL and it works. It's, yeah, Twitter Live is Periscope. So yeah, so so that's all the cat's done for another year. Because normally what we do is we pay the vet to come to us. We pay like, I think it's like 20 quid, 20, 30 quid call out fee. And the vets just come to our house and do all the vaccinations. But um, obviously this time they're not doing house calls. So. Day off work so I could take four cats to the pet. <laughs> also, I don't know what that noise is. Sophie hates it. I think there's some. I think there's some digging somewhere. Got one of the wren. E wrens are adorable, but they are tiny, aren't they? Just, it's it's a tiny little perky tail that gets me every time. Ooh, federal holiday, really? Ace. Oh, hello. No, distracted by my fingernail. Yeah. I know, I know. Oh, MLK Day. Well, happy MLK Day, everybody. Bird. Yeah, the twisty tail gets me every time. She thought about sexy dance, definitely. Sexy dance was like, mm, could. Nah. Nah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Blackbird's just lost his mind. Zero floof. <laughs> Bird Titans. It's okay. Nimin. Sophie. Oh, <laughs> that is magnetic. <laughs> Scared bird. Amen. Hey, that was good pointy then. That was quality pointy. What do you think? Hmm? And the neck disappears. Oh no. <laughs> Condition one. Ooh. There's still a tiny bit of pointy there. It's a little bit. I'm getting tail flushes. 
he gonna give the pointy? Oh. What do we think, Bird? What do we think? Flip gone, flip gone one. <laughs> See, the thing is with that as well, you've got to say it in that JML voice, haven't you? You've got to go, new from JML, the new retractable neck. <laughs> Just impress your friends through your family. The new JML retractable neck. Dangerously close to DJ Dickhead there, but... Um, <laughs> Bird. Bird. What are you doing? Right, I know. I know. That was very stressful for a minute. I know it always used to be, JML always used to be the thing that you couldn't escape whenever you went to shops and stuff. There was always like a weird whiskey thing or like a weird spatula or something like that. <laughs> the luggage. <laughs> hey, luggage. Um, but yeah, how long it's been since you thought about JML products? That's it, the stands with the videos playing, with the, like, the continuously looping, the people who were on a string. Oh, yeah, the, that noise it plays before it starts playing the video yeah absolutely <laughs> Sophie <Bird>. she hasn't realised yet <laughs> it's the tunes that get you it's the tunes I remember years and years ago working in a um, working in a, in a computer shop and we had this thing, um, it was it was an IBM, it was, um, yeah, me too, I'm going to miss doing them. Um, we had this demo reel for the IBM Aptiva, which was like this crappy PS2 home computer they made in the early 90s. And it had a, um, it had a, back to the chainsaw plus shrubbery. It could be actually, it could be chainsaw. It wouldn't put it past them. Um, and it had, it had a, um, a piece of music from a band called Better Than Ezra. I remember that now. And um, I wasn't exposed to it for a huge amount of time, but a good friend of mine was exposed to it for eight hours a day, you know, six days a week. And it drove Paul absolutely insane. Like it drove Paul absolutely mad. It was like this, it was a, it was a, um, It was it was like a ten minute well like not even that like a thirty second snip of a song of a of a better than Ezra song, and um, Paul absolutely hated it. Paul really hated it to such an extent that that year for his Christmas present, I brought him that that CD. I brought him a better than Ezra CD with that track on it and a hammer, and I put it in like a little gift box for him. <laughs> it's like a bit of therapy. Well, I'm happy to help. Um, it's next to a Samsung, Nick on a Samsung stand. Conventions are even worse because you can't escape them. You just absolutely cannot escape them. Yeah. I worked at the Ideal Home Exhibition one year in, in Birmingham, and that was like that. It was just like these weird sort of snatchy loops continuously. It's ever so strange. <laughs> the emotional support line play. I know it's a bit like that, isn't it? It's like that for me as well, though. Have we paused? Have we gone onto a screensaver here, bud? Well, it, it's looking like my office is not going to open again. It's looking very much like it's going to be working from home all the time. So, um, you know, I, you may have more microbreeze than you ever thought possible soon. Oh. Uh, I think Sophie genuinely does know that she's that she's she picks me up definitely and I'm, I'm, I, I feel like she knows that I feel like she knows that we're both really pleased to see each other and some days we can we can sort of like snap each other out of a bit of mood like sometimes I've looked out the window and I've seen Sophie just sitting on a perch looking a bit no. You know, especially if it's a like a wet day or something like that, she looks a bit. You can see her body language is just really non-committal and a bit, and like she she isn't putting any energy into her shape or anything. 
and I've just I've just gone out for like ten minutes during the workday. I've just gone outside and seen her, and yeah, and I get a little song and like a little brie, and from then on in the rest of the the rest of like the afternoon, she's bopping around quite happily because she's had a little she's had a little yell at me. But it's the same. Sometimes I've I've had like a you know like a crappy email from work or something like that, you know, and I've I've just gone outside and had a little bit of kissy and um, everyone's a winner. Isn't it, bird? Yeah, I think it might be a little while before I see Neeps' love again. She she was the only... She's fuming. The rest of the cats are fine, but Neeps is... Neeps is visibly annoyed. <laughs> and we do not have soup today. Soup's off. The ingredients are still in the, um, still in the bowl. Oh, they, they've all been to the vets this morning. They've all been driven across, like, bunged in the back of my car and driven across town to the vets. And they are not happy about it. Well, the rest of them are fine. It's just Neeps. Neeps is... Neeps was not treated like a queen and is annoyed there, therefore. Whatever that is, it's quite heavy. Neves is quite aspirational, yeah. She's fully in. She she knows that she's a queen. Like she's not. She's not so much bothered with like the day to day running of of the house. Like she leaves that up to T. Like T's T's actually in charge, in in real term. But Neeps is the um, Neeps is the figurehead. Oh, bur oh burrito cockatiel. No. Oh. <laughs> Come on, bird. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Don't want hand. That's magpie business. Burbito. <laughs> I think I've only ever had one, one burrito, one burbito. Um, is when we we had to look at um, we had to look at Rory's foot. And we had we had like a great big towel and we threw it over her as she as she flew. And I know tea running things. That's yeah, yeah. There's a joke there somewhere about incompetent heads of state, but you know I'll I'll leave that for you. <laughs> you can you can make that joke on your own time. Um, and yeah, so we had to we had to throw this like bath towel, a uh, be beach towel over over Rory, scoop her up in the towel so I could clip her clip her claw. And yeah, that was um, that was the look of absolutely absolute betrayal. That look of just like. The moment you let me go, the moment you even, even slightly release your the the pressure on me, I am going to murder you. I am going to absolutely murder you. Bird. Oh, the wilds are out. That was the time she biffed a hole. She 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 biffed a cut into my hand through through suede welding gloves. That was a fun day. That was the day I realised that I was completely outclassed. The sneezing is amazing, isn't it? Um, no one in the catio today. Yeah, it turns out a rook is perfectly capable of putting a cut in the in like the fleshy bit of the top of your hand, like that squidgy bit there where your thumb becomes your hand. Um, I had I had suede welding gloves on, and she biffed she biffed through those gloves and into my hand like the glove was not there. Just, yeah, she put a cut in my hand big enough that I was going, should I get a stitch put in that? Should I just pop to the hospital and have that closed up with a stitch? I closed it up with those sort of like glue on steri strip things. But it was touch and go of just like, ah, this is quite a big cut actually. I should go to the doctors. I should, I should go to the emergency room with this, <laughs> you know, sort of thing, yeah. What, what, what? What, what, what? Yeah, there, there was a bit like, how the hell am I going to explain what happened? <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the suede glove didn't, didn't inconvenience her beak at all. 
just yeah well yeah it's like well look i had a rook um mistakes were made <laughs> speaking of rooks <laughs> my bird beat me up yeah yeah that is problematic isn't it Tiny grooms. We don't get rooks in the garden. We've had a couple of, we've had, we get crows and jackdaws a lot. Um, and we had a rook fly over the garden a few days ago. But I don't think we've had any actually land in the garden. Or if we have, I haven't seen them. Their friendship is just so pure though, because we don't know either of their genders. I don't, you know, we don't... We use female pronouns for Rory and male for Con, but that's only because that's what the people at the rescue used. Um, we've no idea of their genders. They could just be chums, but they are very... You know, they're both very protective of each other. And if... If one has a bit of a flip out, the other one will come and come and soften them and everything and comfort them. No, it's the the problem is you 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 can't really tell by looking and the the thing you would look for to see whether they were male or not retracts into their body when they're not using it. So um yeah, really difficult. Short of sending a feather off and having it, having it sort of analysed, there's no real way to tell. But they're, they're just good friends, so as far as we're concerned, we're not really, you know. Oh, look. Look at this softness. Or if they lay eggs. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we only know Sophie's a female because she lays eggs. Oh, blimey bird, that wind. Yikes. Yeah, like reptiles, yeah. What you I'm not sure if she's noticed she doesn't care, so that's pretty good. Right, you know what, gang? I'm going to get the lolly stick and I am going to make some <laughs> yellow card right there. Um, I'm going to make myself some lunch because I haven't really eaten and I'm feeling a bit wibbly. So let's let's find something to eat. She's got used to my choice in colours. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's the sort of thing you do just have to come to terms with, isn't it, really? I like the way you say choice in colours rather than tasting colours because I obviously don't have any tasting colours, but... <laughs> Okay, gang, right. If you've just stumbled across this on Periscope and you'd like to follow Sophie on Twitter, her Twitter handle is at Bree Sophie Bree. There's also a Discord link from her Twitter profile if you're into Discord. Or if you prefer, you can always Google Sophie the Magpie. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, gang, see you tomorrow, the normal time, for a micro Bye for now. <laughs>